I previously looked at how we could find a combined resistance that would, that would give the same current as two separate resistors. Now, what I want to do next is to is to um, take this a bit further to find a formula for a combined resistance when we have not only two but maybe three or more resistors connected together. Let me start by drawing a picture of this. So we have a battery. Remember that the longer line represents the plus short line and minus. Right, to be to be uh, uh, precise, I, sh I should stop calling this a battery. I should call this a cell. Okay, and, and I'll just note here that a battery, a battery is the name for uh, a group of cells. A group of cells connected together. Right, so I have this this cell, and let's say it has an EMF of E, and I want to connect this to let's say three three resistors, one, two, and three. I'll call this R1, R2, and R3. Okay. And the problem now is to find a combined resistance find a combined resistance which is a single a single resistor in a single resistor, I call this R R C that would give the same current, same current as the separate resistances together. I want to find a formula for this combined resistance. So how can we do that? We can follow exactly the same reasoning as before. Um, we can start by writing down the, 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 the equations we know relating the resistance and the current and the voltage. Now the, the I'll start with this this side. This is a simpler case. We only have one equation here the, from the Ohm's law. And the voltage is I times R. Okay, in this case, the voltage is just the EMF. Now, on this side, on this side, we need to think about the separate voltages for for each resistor. Okay. Now, let's say the voltage across the first resistor is V one. Second resistor is V2, third resistor is V3. Now recall that recall that EMF is the work done to bring one coulomb of charge all the way around the circuit once. Now but since work is only done in the resistors, since we are assuming that this wire has zero resistance. Therefore, the this work done, right? The work done when one coulomb move one round around the circuit must be equal to the sum of the separate work done in each resistor. Now, the work done in each resistor, the work done to move one coulomb of charge to res through resistor one is just V one because that's what V one means. Likewise, the work done in resistor two for one coulomb of charge. 
going through it is v2 and likewise it is v3 or r3 so therefore the sum of these separate work done must be equal to the total work done okay so we have one relation for the next equation we can use ohm's law and apply ohm's law to each resistor so for the first one therefore we have v1 equals to i times r1 where i is the current v2 is equal to i times r2 v3 is equal to i times r3 now I just note here that I've used something which uh, I've not actually mentioned uh, directly which is that I've, I've used the fact that the current is the same through every resistor okay, the current in this resistor does not change when it goes there the reason is because the reason is because current is about the number of the amount of charge per second passing through a point we can also think about it like the number of electrons so if the current here for example if the current here is more than the current here then that means every second more current going to this resistor but less current going to that other second resistor if that's the case it must mean that i must have electrical charges accumulating here it's like if you have 10 electrons per second coming in here but only 9 electrons per second going in there then one electron must must get stuck there every second and then if that's the case this will get uh, more and more charged it will have more and more either negative or positive charges and the reasoning is that since that does not happen right, we, we don't actually detect any charging right? if there's charging you start getting sparking and and attractions and, and all, all those effects but since that doesn't happen for a normal circuit we conclude that there's no charge accumulation anywhere and this for a simple uh, circuit with, with a small battery therefore therefore the current must be the same in all the resistors let me this is actually an important result uh, uh, property let me just write this down explicitly current currents in series i'm using the word currents in plural here as in the currents at different places of the circuit uh, that are in series are equal okay so we have all we have these equations and we now want to um, do something similar to the last video which is to add these three equations up if I add up the left hand side if I sum up the left hand side that's just the same as this which is E if I sum up the right hand side I get I R1 plus I, R2 plus I, R3. I can now compare those two equations. Right? They both have E on the left hand side. Therefore, the right hand side must be equal. Okay, so then let me write this down. Therefore, therefore, IRC, so the right hand side of that, must be equal to the right hand side of this which is i r1 plus i r2 plus i r3 and since i is a common factor for all the terms i can divide both sides by i and, and i will cancel off and what remains what remains then is the equation that i need let me just write this down. The combined resistance RC is just the sum of the separate resistances. So this is an important formula that we should uh, remember. 
we can use it every time we have these resistors connected together. Now before, before I finish, I'll just mention that by extension, you can imagine what happens if I have four resistors, for example, if I have another resistor here, I would have another equation, another Ohm's law equation here for, for V4 and R4. And then I would just have an R4 term in addition. And it just means that I can add a fourth resistor or fifth resistor and so on. So as, as long as all the resistors are connected one after another, the combined resistance is simply the sum of all these resistors. And there is a, a special name for this situation where all the resistors are connected together. But they don't have to be just connected one after another. We can imagine that it can be more complicated. You can have some wires branching off uh, to other places. So if there are a simple uh, one after another kind of arrangement, we call this arrangement resistors in series. 